Welcome to P with Miss Duncan. I hope you all had a lovely time with Joe yesterday. Now it's my time again to get you all fit and active. While we wait for everyone to come and join in, I want to give a couple of bigger shout outs to a couple of my excellent workers last week. The first shout out I want to give to is Abdul Malik in 6T for his amazing poster on astrology versus astronomy. Excellent, excellent poster and keep on sending in your lovely work because everyone at the school loves to see it. Whilst we wait for everyone to come and join, can I get everybody just to bounce on the spot? Let's get our bodies moving. Let's get going. Lovely. Let's start to loosen your body out. Start to move about. Lovely. Let's start to get our knees high. Whilst we're waiting for others to come in, if your parents are sat on that couch, drag them up, get them started, and then motivate them to keep active. Lovely, back to bouncing on your toes again. Today you won't need any equipment at all, so hopefully everyone can get involved. Lovely, get your knees up again. Lovely, then I'm gonna do a couple of heel flicks. Dive so your hands behind your back. Get your knees up. Give your foot and your hands a little touch together. Lovely, back to bouncing on the spot. Lovely, back to knees up again. Heel flicks. Lovely. Now we're gonna stretch it out. So, start off by raising your hands above your head. Lovely, reach to the sky as high as you can. Then slowly reach your arms out. Lovely, I want you to put your right hand across your body and your left hand underneath. Then make your left hand touch your shoulder. Squeeze tight. And release. We'll do it the other way around this time. So, right hand underneath. Touch. Squeeze. Squeeze. Stretch it out. Lovely, we're gonna stretch our hamstrings next. Lovely, so hands on your thighs, then slowly run your hands down until you can't go anymore. Then hold it still. Keep the legs as straight as you possibly can. And release. Lovely, so before we get into our main activities, I'm just gonna show you what you need to do, and hopefully we all can do it and get started. The first thing we're gonna do is some seated kicks. So. I want you to place your hands on the floor. If you can, hold your body up. Then you're gonna kick forwards. Make sure there's nothing in front of you that you can kick that might hurt you. If you're struggling, take a seat on the floor. Do the same thing, lean back slightly and see if you can have both feet moving at the same time. If you can't, then one foot up. Swap, one foot, one foot. And if you find that a little bit too easy, then go back to your hands. If you find it really easy, then really keep as fast as you can. Really push those legs forwards. That's our first activity. The second activity is jump and duck. So, you might have seen this in some boxing. You're gonna go down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Lovely, so you're gonna go left to right. Left to right. Then the next one we're going to do is some rope climbers, so we've done these before. You're gonna imagine you're climbing up a rope. You're gonna be pulling that rope down and you're gonna get your knees nice and high. So something like this. Lovely, then the next activity, and that'll be our fourth and final activity will be some knee breakers. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna imagine we have a karate board in front of us or a wooden block and we're gonna break it over our knee. Break it over our knee and break it over our knee. We're gonna keep going. All activities will be done for 30 seconds and a 30 second rest, so please don't forget. Are we all ready? I hope we are. Let's get our timer going. I'm gonna give out one more amazing shout out to my year five and six bubble in school. They've been working super hard and I have to keep up the work and get ready to go. Are we ready? So, seated kicks. So remember, there's two different ways to do it. I'm gonna have my arms down and I'm gonna kick. Really push forwards, push forwards, keep going. 
See how long you can keep your arms balancing for? And kick. Really push out. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nearly there. And rest. If you're finding some of these activities easy and you really want to challenge yourself, why not try and go for 45 seconds, only giving yourself a 15 second break. If you're not, no worries at all, we're going to do for 30 seconds on and 30 seconds off. Are we ready again? <sighs> Nearly there. We're going to go to our duck and jump. Are we ready? Down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Keep going, keep going. Excellent effort. Keep going, really spring once you get down. Keep going, ladies and gentlemen, we're nearly there. And stop. Right, my first question for today, and it's a science question to get ourselves going. And I would like to know what is the largest body, which is the last bone, should I say, in the human body? We have three different options. Option one is your tibia or the shin bone. Your second option is the femur or your thigh bone. And your third option is your skull, which is the biggest body, part or bone, please let me know. Are we ready again? We're gonna do some rope climbers, let's go. Keep going, really pull those ropes down from the sky. Keep going. And rest. I think probably you're tired of hearing it already, but it's very important you have some water nearby. Keep drinking as you're working. Ooh. How are we all feeling this morning? Hopefully we're ready to keep going. Are we ready? We're doing some knee breakers now. Are we ready for them? Let's go. Break that piece of wood. Really break that piece of wood. Break that piece of wood. As hard and as fast as you can go. Keep going. I see you stopping, don't stop yet. Keep going, we're nearly there. And breathe. Right, my next question I'm going to ask, ladies and gentlemen, is for those that love their sports, and some of you who may watch athletics, what is the world record for long jump? Is it A, two meters, the distance that hopefully everyone's keeping when they're out and about? B, is it 4.5 meters, the average size of maybe your local or the cars that you might see down the road. Or your third choice is 8.95 meters, the length of the bus. Please let me know. Are we ready again? We're gonna do some seated kicks. Let's go. Keep going, we started a little bit late, so we're gonna keep going just after the bell. It's another 10 more seconds. Keep going. The bell's just gone. We're going to go for another 10 more seconds. Keep going. Nearly there. Keep going. And rest. Lovely. Excellent job, ladies and gentlemen. I'm loving it. Keep it up. Woo. At any point, if you can go faster or harder than me, please do it. And don't forget, send in anything that you've done at home and you would like your teachers to give you a shout out for, that's what I'm here for. Are we ready again? Duck and jump. Down, up, down, up. Keep it going. Keep going. 
going. Five seconds to go. We're nearly there. And breathe. Woo, how are you feeling? Hope you're all as tired as me, but feeling happy and healthy. Keep it on up. We're nearly ready again. Lovely rope climbers, are we ready? Let's go. Excellent job, keep it up. Keep going, we're nearly there. And breathe. I want to give a major, major shout out to Rachel, Catherine, Belan, Sahara, Maza, and also Naja in year six for their healthy lifestyle posters. They were amazing. I love them, so keep up the good work. We're nearly ready again. 10 more seconds to go. We're with some knee breakers. Then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent job. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's really break this piece of wood. No rest for the wicked. Keep going. Keep going. Halfway through the time already. Keep going. Couple more seconds to go. And we are finished. Excellent job, ladies and gentlemen. I loved it, and I hope you did too. The last question of the day is, which of these sports will you not find a ball? Is it A, ice hockey? Is it B, golf? Or is it C, a, te a tennis match? So which of the three will you not find a ball in? Again, let all of your answers in to your teachers. We love to see them. Right, you're not finished yet and nor am I. We've got one last thing to do and it's our daily challenge. So today's daily challenge is very similar to the activities that we were doing today. And it's either going to be 30 seconds of continuous punches or 60 seconds of continuous punches. It's completely up to you. I'm going to show you what it looks like, then I want to let you know, I want to let you get going, and let me know how you got on. So, one foot behind, one foot in front. If you normally write with your right hand, then I want your right foot back. If you write with your left hand, left foot back. I'm going to put my right foot back, and then I want 30 seconds or a minute of continuous punches. And just keep going. If you can, ask mum, ask dad, or ask anyone that's at home to time you for either 30 seconds or a minute. And really work those arms. The faster you can do it, the more you can do. I did it at home and I was able to do 45. So I wanted to know, can you do more than 45 in 30 seconds? There's my challenge. Before we go, I'm now going to give you the answers to our questions. So I hope you haven't forgotten. If you have, never mind, because I'm going to run you through them again. So, my first question was, and it was a science question. What is the largest bone in the human body? Is it your shin bone? Is it your thigh bone? Or is it your skull? And if you're very, very good drum roll, our answer was our thigh bone, usually known as your femur. So, if you didn't know the answer, good, good job. The second question was, what is the world record for long jump that you might find in athletics? The three options was, two meters was A, B was 4.5 meters, or C was 8.95. And our answer was C. So if you said C, good job. 
And our final question was, which of these sports does not use a ball? The first option was A, ice hockey, B, golf, and C, tennis. Another quick drum roll. And our answer was A, ice hockey. And the reason is because they use a puck, not a ball. So if you didn't know the answer, good, good job. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Give yourself a round of applause. You've been amazing today. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you very much for all of you tuning in on a Tuesday and a Thursday morning at 9 a.m. I want to see you back this Thursday. So please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you can, tell a friend, let them know what we're doing, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye.